Conducting Research Almost everything around you can serve as a source for research. That is why it is important to understand the difference between good and bad, reliable and unreliable sources. Major sources include data from interviews, surveys or observations, books and articles both in print and online, web pages and news group postings, videos and music, images of all kinds. Even your brother or sister can sometimes provide an interesting data for a research project. But it is for you to know and understand what a reliable source is and what is not. To find out how credible your source really is, you can use the CARS checklist, where C stands for credibility, A for accuracy, R for reasonableness, S for support. This checklist is designed for ease of learning and use. When looking for credibility, you check if the author or source of the information shows evidence of being knowledgeable, reliable, and truthful. Check the author's educational background, training, and or experience in a field relevant to the information. Look for bibliographical information. For most reliable and scholarly sources, this information is provided along with the source. However, if the information is not provided, do your own search. Check if the author has written other works. Is the author affiliated with a reputable organization like a university, government agency, or research center? Look for the author's position or job title at the organization. Is the organization the author is affiliated with a corporate, government, or nonprofit group? Most work published through the governmental, educational, and nonprofit organizations can be considered reliable due to the credibility of these organizations. This would include online sources with a URL ending in .gov, .edu, and .org. You can also check if the author has been cited by other sources and also if the author cites other experts within his or her work. Accuracy tests if the information is actually correct, up-to-date, factual, detailed, exact, and comprehensive. For example, even though a very credible writer said something that was correct 60 years ago, it may not be correct today. Similarly, a reputable source might be giving up-to-date information, but the information may be only partial and not give the full story. Some works are timeless, like the classic novels and stories. Other works have a limited useful life. The facts we learn today may change in a few years, especially in technology, science, medicine, business, and other fields. You must therefore be careful to note when the information you find was created, and then decide whether it is still of value. Look for when was the information last updated. When you write your own research paper, make sure that the information you gather is up to date. The test of reasonableness involves examining the information for fairness, objectivity, moderateness, and reliability. Fairness includes offering a balanced, reasoned argument, not selected or slanted. Even ideas or claims made by the source's opponents should be presented in an accurate manner. Pay attention to the tone and be cautious of highly emotional writing. Angry, hateful tones often lead to irrational and unfair attacks, not a reasoned argument. There is no such thing as pure objectivity, but a good writer should be able to control his or her bias. Be on the lookout for slanted, biased, politically distorted work. Check somewhere else before you believe such sources. The area of support is concerned with the source and validation of the information. See if other sources support this source. 
Also check if your source uses other sources to support its claim. Scholarly sources generally refer other sources and are accompanied by bibliographies. Distinguish between primary sources and secondary sources. A primary source is a document or physical object which was written or created during the time under study. Primary sources enable researchers to get as close as possible to what actually happened during an historical event and or time period. Primary sources are written by writers that experience the event or imagine a scenario firsthand. Examples include diaries, speeches, letters, interviews, creative works, poetry, drama, novels, music, and art. Secondary sources are sources that are written about primary sources. Secondary sources analyze and discuss information about the primary source. If a magazine writer wrote about the speech President Bush gave in 2002, it would be a secondary source. The information is not original, but it is an analysis of the speech. In simple terms, a secondary source writes or talks about something created or written by the primary source. For instance, if a person were to write about a painting hanging in the art gallery, this would be a secondary source discussing the original art. Secondary sources include journals, articles, books, encyclopedias, diaries, newspaper articles, etc. Most research papers are based on secondary sources as they build on the research or studies others have done. Distinguishing between scholarly sources and popular sources. It is best to base your research on works of scholars who are authorities in a particular field related to your topic. The work of such experts usually appears in specialized scholarly journals. To make sure you have a reliable source, it is important to understand the difference between scholarly sources and popular sources. Some of these differences are that the cover of scholarly journals lists contents of the issue, while the cover of a popular source features attractive colored pictures. The title of a scholarly periodical generally contains the word journal. The title of a popular magazine is usually something trendy and eye-catching. The purpose of a scholarly journal is to inform and educate its audience. These journals are usually printed by nonprofit organizations. They have almost none to very few advertisements in them. But the purpose of a popular magazine is generally to entertain or help sell a product. Thus, popular magazines are full of advertisements. The authors of scholarly sources are experts in their fields. All claims are supported with credible evidence. The credentials and related affiliations of the authors to the scholarly articles are listed within the source. The authors of the popular sources are usually journalists or reporters, not experts in the field and their credentials are not provided with their work. Summary or abstract appears on first page of the scholarly articles, and the articles are fairly long. Popular source articles are generally short, and they do not provide abstracts or summaries. Scholarly sources always cite their sources and provide bibliographies. Popular sources do not provide bibliographies. Accessing University Databases It is wise to work with the electronic sources available to you through your college library. Libraries hold important resources that are either not available on the web or not easily accessible to students. College libraries subscribe to a large number of databases. Many of these databases offer the additional advantage of having screened and peer-reviewed sources, a characteristic not true for most of the materials you might find on the web. 
Which database will work for you will depend on your subject and purpose. Commonly used databases for current and controversial issues are JSTOR, LexisNexis, ProQuest, Britannica Online, CQ Researcher, EBSCOhost, ERIC, and Academic Search Complete. Now let me actually show you how to use the databases. First, go to the university homepage. Here from the top menu, click on My UTSA. Here in the right corner, you will find the library resources. Since we are practicing using databases, we will click on Find Databases. I want to use ProQuest, so I will click on the letter P. Now scroll down to locate ProQuest. Click on the hyperlink. You will see different options for an advanced search. Type your keywords in the search bar and make a few other selections before you hit enter. Here next to limit to, click on the option full text and peer review. You can also add a date range if you like to. Whether you select a date range or not, make sure when you are writing about current issues, the sources you use to support your claim are recent. When you begin your search on an issue, start with a research question, not an argument. Find and read number of articles before you formulate an argument. So now that I have made my selections, I will now click on search. Notice that all sources in this list are peer-reviewed and provide the full text of the piece. I'm going to randomly open one of these texts. Here notice that the authors of the article are listed on the top of the page with a small number besides the name. This means that at the bottom of the page, we can find additional information about the authors. Both authors have number one besides their name. This means they are both affiliated with the same institution. In this case, Department of Earth Science, Pondicherry University. This is the information you will need to provide within the attribution tags for your sources. These tags help show the credibility of your sources and make your work trustworthy. Now, if you scroll all the way to the top of the document, you will find all the necessary information you need to cite this source. Names of your authors, title of the article, title of the journal, volume and issue number, publication date, page numbers, and the title of the database. We know this is a peer-reviewed source since we made the peer-reviewed selection within the search engine. However, another way to make sure your work is scholarly is to scroll all the way to the end of the article and see if the source provides a list of bibliographies also known as references, or work cited depending on the documentation style. In this way, you can search your university databases and find information. Another open search engine we have is Google Scholar. This engine is listed in your library resources, but can also be searched without logging into the school library. So if you just go to Google homepage, and type Google Scholar, you will find this open source scholarly database. However, since this is a commercial site, most of the sources found here will be for purchase. Do not let this disappoint you. If you are used to doing your searches through Google, Google Scholarly will be easy to use and what you can do is find a source here and search for it in your school databases. So just like any other Google search, type your keywords here.
number of sources will appear. See if you like something. If the source is open and free, well and good. Let me try opening this source. I can see the introduction and some more information, but here it says download PDF. Let's try doing that. So oh, here you go, it says PDF available for $32, but we don't need to do that. What you can do is get the title of the article and then go back into your university quick search page. This is your homepage for the libraries and paste the title of the article you found within Google Scholar over here and search if you can find this source and there you go it seems like i believe that's the source we were looking for yes and now we click on that link we are currently within our databases within the university library so it looks exactly the same as it did in google scholar it just gives us the introduction and some additional information but now when we click on download PDF, we actually get the PDF since we are enrolled in UTSA, we have access to all this information. So now you can clearly see the full article is available. Now looking back at our CARS criteria to judge whether our source is reliable or not, we can look at few of the features, which is number one, yes, our author is listed. And also we have the author's credentials provided over here. We have copyright information. And let's scroll down all the way down to see if we have our references at the end of the source. We can definitely see within the text of the source there are, there are lots of in-text citations. But going all the way down and... Here we go. Sources that have been cited within this article. So yes, this is a reliable source that can be used, scholarly source that can be used within your work. So this is how you will conduct research to support your arguments and find reliable information, whether it comes from the university databases or Google Scholar. But remember, I require peer-reviewed articles and for that, I would suggest, I would recommend you use university database.